good of an attention. They're melee players. They definitely do. <laughs> Every conversation is a micro interaction. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite scary for Lavingi, but he does manage to get back to stage with the down air. Yeah, neither player really putting anything crazy together here, but now it's cross turn once more. It finds that softener and up smash, not going to kill them. Oh, another up that smash. That one will. Yeah. <laughs> Calls Juicy. out the shield draw. That's, That's something that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, it's it's crazy that, that up smash scoops like that. That can yeah. call out a shield draw. Yeah, Professor Pro is actually very well known for being, like, the only person, I would say, in Europe very effectively getting those scoop up smashes from shield drops. Like, I don't, I don't know anyone yeah. who's as good at it as he is. Yeah, no, when I think, sh like, uh, up smashing someone who's shield dropping, I definitely think Prof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the only one set that I remember I saw more more up smashes like that was um, Mango Armada uh, Big House 6, where, where Mango won. He was just up smashing, right. like, every shield timing. Right. <laughs> oh. Finds that down smash as well. Nicely done. It's uh, tricky to get down there in time with Falco's really quick side B. Catches the what? roll with the shine and gets a nice little combo going. Oh, doesn't manage to find the jump off the platform to continue with though. Oh, great spacing from oh, Professor Bro to double shine. It's gonna send off, but hey. Actually, spoke too soon. Yeah. yeah, not so bad. Still, I I'm surprised Prof managed to clip with the Uffy as well. He, he kept it going despite losing the edge guard. It's like when Prof's losing, he's also winning. I feel like when you put yourself in, in weird situations enough, eventually it just starts looking like you meant to do it. Yeah. Whoops, I mean, I'm so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, the movement is so crazy. Yeah, I gotta say, Lavinia looks a little lost against prop speed. Like, I just see a lot of full hops, but but not not anything to like actually like contest it. I like that laser and and that up tilt as a start though. Another full hop down air from Lavinia without him getting anything off of it. I feel like uh, if if Professor Pro adapts to that very hard, it can be very very bad for Lavinia because he's in bad spots a lot of the time. Yeah, the higher is on shield on, on Prof, you know Prof's gonna hit the Shino shield. Yo, Professor Pro going all the way out there. Sick. That was sick. Yeah, grabs that edge guard. Not such a uh, a pretty commanding game from Prof, honestly. Like, didn't seem like he was ever really in trouble. I think he's got to make something work here on the counter pick. Yeah, I mean, we're probably gonna move to like a much larger stage. I imagine like a, a Pokemon or an FD, maybe. Mm -hmm. I do think Falco's good on, on FD as well, even if it's a little risky. But but yeah. honestly, like the biggest thing is like Livingy needs the space to get the lasers out. And and there just wasn't afforded any in the way that like Prof took space so aggressively. Exactly. When you see Livingy connecting the lasers, it, it does a lot, but when he can't get that going, he's just sort of like floundering around getting uh, getting beat up by Prof. Yeah, and laser's super committal on honestly for Falco. It's it, there's a lot of frames in it. Yeah, and Prof is content to run in and read you shooting a laser to uh, try and punish you out of it. Prof's falling upgrades are so good as well. Like, his punish game is sick. I think normally he would have read that angle, actually, from... Uh, oh! From oh! Power shield, wave dash, and jab, grab, up smash. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Prof. Oh, oh no. the downer! That's all oh, of me, unfortunately! Drops that stock at 2%. What a shame. That was, that was dirty. <laughs> Real talk though, little little karma, that, that is a Falco classic. Yeah. True. <laughs> well, true. let's be honest. Yeah. You get what you give. Oh. Oh. What a great mid short end though by Lavinia. And great edge guard. Yeah, the down smash is a little risky, they can't tech it, but uh, luckily Prof didn't get the tech there. He just reads the uh, the Dutch angle as it is. It's Dutch a player, or are you referring to the Dutch? <laughs> I don't we know, are... dude. I, I'm not a Dutch person, so when I moved here, everybody to just said... Dutch. Okay, just thank Dutch you. Angle, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, because a lot of a lot of Dutch spaces are just lazy and go for like horizontal angle. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> 
It's also a photog uh, filming term in the photography term, I think. It's like a slightly tilted perspective. Oh, fascinating. Yo, the thing he's firing it up, though, like, he's uh, got some nice combos going, although it might just be a little too late. Yeah, I mean, even though if it's a little too late, like, I think getting some momentum back is, is so important. I, I think, like, it's just, like, you gotta get your hands moving again. You gotta know, like, you can hit those combos going into game three. And, and as you said, like, Prof took Prof, Prof took game two as expected. But it, it's much better than just, like, SDing, because, like, then you're just going in, like, more cold and saltier. Yeah, and Prof yeah. looks so confident here. I mean, that jabbing the side B is just, like, such a flex. Instead of, like, oh, you know, I could hit you with, like, any smash attack, anything like that. Like, no, I'm just going to jab you. <laughs> what are you going to do now? You're right in front of me. Do something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like Lavingi... I, I, I just think he's getting outclassed right now by Professor Pro. Although, I mean, there's still potential, but... Yeah, he's not budging from center, which is nice. Just holding the stage, making sure Prof is the one to come into him. And uh, kind of more restrained with the laser usage here. Yeah, and I, I agree on your like idea of like outclass as well. I think it, it's interesting because like in melee, like if if a player isn't just doing like either a few things right or doesn't know a few like mix-ups on like what to do in those situations in neutral, you can just really steamroll your opponent. Yeah. Exactly. It comes down to like, especially at this level, it cannot be said enough that these players are adapting like every second, pretty much. They're constantly like, trying to find new ways to find uh, holes in your game plan. And if you fall behind in the adaption game, you are definitely going to lose the uh, set at this caliber. Seems Lavingi's got a little bit of momentum going now. Yeah, I guess it actually did carry over a little bit from the last couple stocks from last game. And he's not gonna survive this, probably. What oh, great air dodge, actually. Wow, amazing. Oh, again, the high aerials on shield, though. Lavingi kind of like just trying to force a situation that doesn't exist, right? Like, there is no situation where that high aerial, like, will work out for Falco. Yeah, unless it's like the ultimate mix up, which at this point it is not. <laughs> yeah, that, that's for a first to five. Exactly, yeah. The long con. Ooh, wow. man. Oh, oh man! Shine bears right now. Oh my god. The Dutch angle is that... gonna help out. How did that laser miss? Though? Once more. Yeah, I'm surprised that missed as well. It's just right underneath the uh, up. And there it is, laser shine grab. We can go home. No, wow. that, that was perfect. That was perfect. Did an aerial. Got the grab, got the stock. Love this play by Lavingi. Off oh, really just up smashes twice, huh? Yeah, that's that's what he does. <laughs> He's crazy. He's cracked like that. No fear, no shame. Oh my god, Lavingi's punish game right now is very slick. Just his movement around the platform while 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 um, comboing. Very nice. Oh, that oh man, Prof is having angle. so much trouble getting these edge guards right now. I think he's doing really good to mix it up. I think he's got to be careful here. I mean, if he gets gimped here, loses the stock early, it could spell bad news for him. I think he's just chasing in, in these uh, punish situations. Oh no. Prof missing the waveline, but not missing the punish. Pretty wild. Well, think he's in prime position to close out, just has to get a hit, and, and that's like what makes melee so tough is, you know, there's no life bar. You, you have to close it out. You have to close out every stock. Exactly. There's no chip damage, there's no nothing. Gotta get a clean hit. You can never really get comfortable, unless you're like, jv 5 someone. <laughs> yes. All right, though. So let's go, Lavingi. That was a that was a really good adaptation, and just in time, still in, and could make this comeback. Honestly, I mean, you kind of predicted it, right, with the game before, with uh, him getting in the groove, right, with the punish game, and you know, it just kind of carried over to the next game, and that's exactly what Lavingi needed to get on the board. Really nice. Now we'll see how uh, Prof decides to handle this counter pick here. I'm not entirely sure because, like you said, maybe space is not the best pick. So yeah, Yoshi's was what was on my mind because uh, now Lavingi really has no room to laser at his will. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and then also on top of lasering, it's just like the platforms just cover so much of the stage. Like, you have to watch out for vertical spacing. And, and honestly, like, our eyes are just not trained to handle vertical spacing that well. Right. Ooh, but, but this is the start. Oh, wow. He doesn't manage to find it. Nicely done by Prof. He goes straight to ledge there. Oh, I think that's... Oh, what? Uh, no, what? Um, uh... <laughs> Red Lord, oh, yeah, that was kind of crazy like that. Pretty that crazy. Hog was nutty though. <laughs> oh, had the CC, didn't didn't get the CC for Lavigi. Now Prof's starting up. Oh, great defensive play, play by Prof. SDIing the lasers up to get uh, like warp to the side platform. Oh, great read there for Professor Pro going on to the top platform within there. We got catch the jump from Lavingi and now Lavingi back in the corner. Ah, okay. Well, yeah. Double laser from ledge. Oh, that roll. Lavingi's feeling smothered right now. And and for good reason? Oh, and the for forward smash is now up smash, knowing it's not going to kill. Great awareness by Prof. Oh, the patience from Prof, but he waited a little bit too long there. Finds the up smash still. Three stocks to one. This is going to be very tough for Lavingi to come back to from. Oh, yeah. Got Sakurai angled there, unfortunately, and, and Prof's running away with this. Great tech chase. Pong back in place. Yo! Whoa. The fares! These mix ups. Keep it oh, on the, the, the mango laser. Oh my god. Unplug your controller, Lavingi. Okay, okay. Professor Pro picked up the grease again, oh, and now Lavingi's yeah. just dropped the ball as well. Dang. This has to be so scary if you're frenzy you now. Because Prof just had a set to beat up a Falco, you know, get his movement back, right back into another Falco Fox set, and Frenzy is just fresh off the uh, game five against Triff, so.